Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be sharing some HelloFresh meals that I made throughout my work week. The first meal I will be making is a chicken pina pasta with mushrooms, zucchini, and tomatoes. The meal is 630 calories with a prep time of five minutes and cook time of 30 minutes. One of my favorite things about HelloFresh is they give you step-by-step -step instructions on the back. The instructions are very easy to follow and perfect for those who don't cook much. In my box, I had this coupon code. If anyone would like to use it, feel free to screenshot. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below of one of your favorite HelloFresh meals. With HelloFresh, all of your meals come packaged in a paper bag with all of the ingredients for that meal. The first thing I'm going to do is prep all of my produce. I already washed all of my produce off camera. I cut the zucchini and realized it had already gone bad. So I tossed this out and substituted broccoli as a veggie instead. You will see that later on in the video. Now I'm going to prep my chicken breast. I went ahead and washed my chicken off of camera. I am pat drying it so that the seasoning can stick better on the chicken. And then next, I'm going to cut my chicken breast into bite-sized pieces so that it can go in my pasta. I am seasoning the chicken with one of my favorites, Tony's Creole seasoning. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil into a pan and place your chicken in the pan. Cook until it's brown and cook thoroughly. In another pan, I drizzled a little bit of olive oil and added in my mushrooms. I cooked these for about five minutes or until golden brown. In the same pan, I cooked my mushrooms in. I sauteed some broccoli for my veggies. I boiled some water in a pot and put a little bit of salt and added my pina noodles in there and I cooked this for about 10 minutes. Now my broccoli finished cooking, now I'm going to go ahead and make the sauce for my pasta. I reduced the heat to low and put a little bit of olive oil and butter in the pan. I added the stock concentrate that HelloFresh provided, some Italian seasoning. Tomatoes, chives and squeezed lemon wedge. I stirred this a little bit and added the cream sauce.
my noodles are done so I'm going to go ahead and add them in and stir this all together Once I started, I realized it's not enough cream sauce for me. I like for mine to be really creamy. So I decided to add some of my own creamy Alfredo sauce and a little bit of half and half. And then I stirred this together and went ahead and added in the broccoli. Add in the sauteed mushrooms. Sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper to your liking. And then add in your chicken. This is the Alfredo sauce that I added in. It is one of my favorites and it was a perfect add-in for this dish. To top everything off, I sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top and added in the remaining of the chives. Overall, this dish was really, really good. Even though I had to add in a few items, overall, I would rate it a 9 out of 10. The next meal I made for the week is the cheesy black bean enchiladas with Old El Paso enchilada sauce, cilantro, pico de gallo, and lime. I did add ground beef to mine on the HelloFresh app as a choice of meat. The meal is on the high calorie side at 890 calories with a prep time of 10 minutes and cook time of 40 minutes. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes to do everything overall. I do want to mention that I have the two person family meal plan. And the first step I'm going to do is, of course, prep all of my produce. And yes, I washed all my produce off of camera. Drizzle a little olive oil in a pan over medium high heat and add your ground beef. Cook this until brown. Once your ground beef is done in that same pan, drizzle a little olive oil and add your green peppers and onion. Cook stirring until slightly softened for about two minutes. Add your ground beef and the Southwest blend seasoning that HelloFresh provided. I'm not a huge black bean person, but I wanted to try the recipe like it is listed. After you rinse your beans in a pot, drizzle some olive oil and add your black beans. And I added a little bit of water to help soften them. I did save a little of the black beans to the side because I didn't want to mash all of them. Now I am filling all of my tortillas. I did half of them with the mashed black beans and half without.
Once you are done filling your tortillas, pour your El Paso enchilada sauce on top. I did have just a little bit of ground beef left, so I just added it on the top because I don't like wasting anything. And the last step is to top with cheese, and then you're going to bake this in the oven. I put it on the top rack for about five to seven minutes, and I put it on 350 degrees. Now that your enchiladas are done, you will plate them and add your toppings. Um, I do have like a cream sauce that you will see me adding. Um, this is something that HelloFresh provided. And then lastly, I topped it off with some pico de gallo. Overall, this dish was very fulfilling. However, it's not one of my favorites. So I would rate it a seven out of 10. Our last meal of the week is the balsamic rosemary pork chops. I originally did not choose this meal because I don't remember the last time I ate pork chops. But I don't like to waste, so I cooked it and ate it. This meal is 590 calories with a prep time of 5 minutes and cook time of 20 minutes. I was getting ready to rinse off my green beans and realized that this was not enough green beans after I picked out the bad ones. So I decided to add some asparagus I had on hand to it. I placed this on a baking dish and lined it with aluminum foil because we love the easy cleanup over here. I added some salt and pepper and olive oil. I placed it on the top rack in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes on 350 degrees and cooked it until it's tender and brown. I washed my pork chops off camera and I'm going to pat dry them and season them with salt, pepper, and Mrs. Dash salt-free garlic and herb seasoning. Drizzle some oil in your pan and add your pork chops. While my pork chops are cooking, I'm going to prep my garlic bread to put in the oven. HelloFresh did provide the garlic butter, so I just spread it over the bread. So my green beans and asparagus are done, and now I'm going to make the sauce for my pork chops. I drizzled some olive oil in a small pan over medium-high heat. My rosemary was bad, so I wasn't able to add rosemary. Add salt concentrate, vinegar, water, and sugar. Stir and let that simmer. Overall, I would give this meal a 8 out of 10. I didn't add the sauce because I wasn't a huge fan of it. Maybe it was because of the rosemary I was missing. However, the meal was still very fulfilling. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.